Missouri lawmakers are not happy with the way the Department of Social Services is being run. Tonight, our Missouri Capitol reporter Emily Manley is live with why members feel like they aren't being told the truth about state facilities. Emily? Well, Sandy, for the second time in less than two weeks, the acting director of the Department of Social Services was in front of a House committee as members stressed their frustration because of the lack of information the agency is giving to members when it comes to abuse and neglect at state facilities. Because we hear the stories and then you come here and say, oh, everything's fine, everything, all the kids are good, everybody's great. And then we hear stories of basically torture for these kids. For months, the state's child welfare system has been under fire by lawmakers. Is it, are we trying to hide something? How am I supposed to, as a state representative, trust the department? In records given to the committee Thursday, the department reports more than 150 incidents of neglect and physical and mental abuse in unlicensed and licensed facilities between 2015 and 2020. We know from continuous hearings with you all that you've known that this is an issue both at licensed and unlicensed facilities for decades. Earlier this year, the couple who owned and operated the Circle of Hope Girls Ranch in southwest Missouri were charged with more than 100 counts of mental, physical, and sexual abuse. Committee members were frustrated with DSS Thursday for not providing all the numbers. I don't buy any of it. I don't buy it at all. I think it's, um, I just think it's hogwash. So um, that we're not getting the right numbers and, and we have to actually come back here today to do this is ridiculous and it's getting old. The department said it's because of their outdated system. There are actually um, systems changes that we're working on right now. Lawmakers want to know why more money isn't going towards frontline workers. And I guess I would like better understanding about the decisions to expend COVID money on computers when we're hearing that we need improvement and that it's because of a faulty system. Now, the Attorney General's office is currently investigating an Agape boarding school for boys and also the Circle of Hope Girls Ranch in southwest Missouri. Both are unlicensed facilities. Lawmakers are pushing for legislation this session that would regulate those unlicensed facilities. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.